What's going on everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be doing a back focus full body workout and I need to pick up a PC part later on so I'm going to go into town. But I'm also going to make some granola and hopefully I can figure out how to leave a link in the description of the videos and basically just keep adding recipes to that and yeah see what happens with that but now I'm gonna have some breakfast you mightn't agree with it being breakfast but I just craved this for breakfast so I'm gonna show you what will happen now so let's get into it so here I have some brown basmati rice with about 100 grams of cauliflower and then there's two tablespoons of homemade purple sauerkraut under with a little bit of coriander and then I have basically just a lot of spices and a stock cube so it is actually um I just love having it for breakfast I have to say oh yeah man um I'll definitely write this recipe down and yeah just try it out definitely let me know what you think because um yeah there's a stock cube in it as well so flavorful okay so I'm gonna do a workout in an hour, so I will see you in the shed in one second from your point of view. You know, you know. So I just finished up my workout there and I made some granola which I'm going to show you how to make after I get back from town because I need to go in and get that power supply. But here it is here and 
This is the third time I've made it. Um, it's actually pretty decent. I blended up some dates uh, with the milk, almond milk I put in it, and then the fruit I have in it is grapes, kiwis, and pineapple. And then there's a bit of uh, plain dairy free yogurt. And give it a little taste because I don't think I had kiwi in it before. Mmm. Man, that's sweet, I have to say. Um, yeah, so, because if you're making like a week's worth at once, like realistically, you're saving time because you're not gonna make one serving. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna make like 1.4 kilos because it's about there's only 170 grams of oats here because that's the last bit that was left from the last batch I made. but um, I'm gonna make 1.4 kilos because if I'm gonna have 200 grams every day and then yeah you can just throw whatever fruit in you like with and then um, yeah I just blended up some dates because like they're just a natural sweetener basically and yeah there's a few things in it I'll show you the recipe later but there's like cinnamon nutmeg and allspice so it's like a Christmas flavor off of it and um, yeah it actually goes very well so that's only the tour time I'm making it, so I still have uh, room to improve, but um, it's doing good. What's that even mean? <sighs> it's it's tasty enough for my tour try, I, I suppose. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I have successfully made it to town and I have achieved uh, the care package, but um, yeah, I got caught out in the rain and I'm no rain gear, so uh, it's gonna be a good day getting home. But let's see, let's see how wet I get. Come on, let's go home fast, quick and get soap. Have a nice day, Sorb. Just flaking with the boys. It's having a good time. Just flaking. Same. There's a man over there. Yeah, so it stopped raining. Still zoomed on my face though, but um, not really mad, mate. See, to be honest with you. So I just got home. I didn't get soaked that much, but I got the power supply. But there's no plug with it. Um, I probably should have asked if there was a plug. Um, or I thought I would have been told there was no plug in it, but I have to go back out and get a plug now. So should only be a tenner. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here's the ingredients. I'm gonna make seven days worth. So I'm gonna make 1.4 kilos of oats with, I have 210 grams of dates in the recipe. Like you can blend them up. Um, I usually blend up 30 grams with 200 mils of almond milk, but there's 50 grams of peanut butter here. I've none of that left, so I'm gonna use the almonds instead. Then we have our cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice there. Gonna use almond milk, and now basically I'm gonna put the oven preheated onto 180 degrees, and yeah, you basically just mix it all together and turn it every 15 minutes until it is the desired crunchiness you would like. Um, my mom let me a little know here saying cook till brown, not born. So I mean, she's the one who cooked the last time, so she obviously must have burned it. Um. But anyway, just press that yolk. Yeah, right, preheated. So basically here I have 100 grams of almonds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and then the last 100 grams is a mixture of Brazil nuts, walnuts, cashews, and I think that's it. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna blend it up to a finer size and then put it in each of them. You can use whatever blender you have. I think this one's just the easiest. I'm just gonna pour half into this, so it should be 200 grams, which is that, and there's that. So now, now for the wet mix. So I'm just gonna put a tablespoon of cinnamon in, and I'm gonna do the same with the nutmeg and allspice, just to keep it simple. I'd put in about a quarter a teaspoon per serving, so that'd come out to about eight. Four teaspoons, which is two teaspoons for each one of them. So four teaspoons 
is 20. So a tablespoon is actually less than a quarter teaspoon per serving. But anyway, let's go. And then next, dates. I'm just going to put 210 grams of dates in. I'm going to put a half liter of milk in. Because if each one of them is 700 grams, well, it's more 1100 grams, so I think you'd use about a quarter of the dry weight in the wet weight. And then you'll just mix that all together and that should be a decent ratio of things, whatever that means. Just a blend when you're feeling ready. So I'm going to pour half of my liquid in, I think it's about 350ml hopefully. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, I'm just going to do one at a time in the big instant pot bowl because... That's bigger than a white one and I don't want it to go all over the place like it usually does. So give that a mix when you're ready. Here, honestly, you should um, you'd be better off getting extendo over here and using the big spoon because it's just easier. Mix it around until everything is evenly spread throughout the mixture start to feel good now all right and then when you're ready you can go ahead and pour it onto your um baking tray lined with whatever you want baking paper tin foil whatever doesn't really go on for when you put it in the oven like i think it's good Give it a little spread. Right. I definitely need to get like a tray that's double the size of that or a few more trays because when you're cooking all at once, you know, you need the space. But anyway, I'm gonna do the same again now with this bowl. Gonna go ahead and I'll actually gonna party with our stuff in first because I think it'd be easier, but I'm just gonna double check if it's in. Um, 50 mils as well. Yeah, basically 300. Basically 350. So, yeah, man. After you do that, try our strong ingredients in here. Get your extendo. Spin it around, mix it, and when you're ready with your second instant pop, pop. It's <laughs> gonna say bowl. You can go ahead and pour up an unusually excessive amount of ingredients onto your quite small tray. I don't know what sort of tray I have, but. Okay, so it's 46 now. We started at 27. So it took me 20 minutes to do that, but now I'm gonna have to put these in the oven for about, I don't know, what did I say? 20 every 15 minutes, so we probably have it in there for a half or 45 minutes till it's at your desired crispiness. And um, it's gonna have to wait and see what my mouth says. Cause it looks like there's quite a lot. I'd probably even take half off and do half at a time because you know. Ma! Come here! That's all good in the hood. What? That's all good in the hood. There's too much on it. How's that? I told you only we were only doing one of them. Oh really? In two trays. Alright, yeah, so I'll just put that back on. You'd still be able to do that in this corner, just, just like, because it... No. It's easier. No, it like. takes too long. This is what I said. Well, you could probably just have it like that and just give it longer time. 
my tones because no, no, you get it all going on one stand. Start spawning. Well, then I'll just get two more trays so we can do it all at once. You can't, you can't fit anymore in the blade tank. You'd fit about eight trays in the oven. No, you wouldn't. Stop. Clearly, you would. Here, put that in. One, two, three, four, and then fit one on the bottom. You'd be able to even push your own little no, brackets in. Push it up. <laughs> Move that in the way, will you? Put it in. That's nice. Put on the bottom shelf or the top shelf. So there's the granola basically, and just gonna let it cool now. Um, in hindsight, yeah, some of the raisins and sultanas are a bit burnt, but they're not that bad. But yeah, I'd say uh, definitely put them in after when you're serving up your granola, and um, just like when you're putting your fruit in and stuff. But yeah, on the other hand, I am making sushi which I haven't made in ages so um, here I have some rice with garlic and stocchio and then I have the avocado and the sushi roll so let's see what I can do you're not going to be able to roll them yeah they fucking won't be able to roll them <coughs> how would you know if I haven't even rolled it? because I know Christopher Oh my god, I'm starving. You're supposed to have it here. Oh. <laughs> you gotta put that in the video. What's your knife? You just try to do that one and you can try it from the other side. Yeah, that's a good idea actually. Oh, Jesus. Some dislike on the thing instead. That's worse, ma. Yeah, yeah one of these there. Quick, do it, quick. One lift up. I think that's you. There's some. Not me. I don't think it's possible that much in the mirror. And you can put as much as in the mouth and breaking. But then they're out. Alright, you got one more one. So here is my f***ing attempt at trying to make some f***ing sushi. Uh, I think just because the wraps are that all they just broke on me, so I'm not in the happiest of moods right now, but I'm still gonna try it out. I'll try out this bad boy, because um, that's the only one that I managed to get to stay together, but more than likely I'm about to jinx myself. Jinxing myself. <laughs> and just crack at them. Yeah. What's today? Some unreal. I think something right today. No bleeding plug on me. You are fun. Don't focus on this. Very tasty. So I'm gonna try eat the rest of it, but um, as you can see, uh, yeah, that's that's it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and just eat this, and then hopefully I'm happy then or something. Okay, so it is now currently five past four. Um, I'd say they only took like 45 minutes or whatever. But I have here my jar of um. So, give a little taste test. These little sultanas and mmm, 
that's nice nice and crunchy but um as we were saying about the raisins and the sultanas look at this so it's like it looks like a it's like the raisin has been torn the charcoal basically but um I'd say if you put the uh, blend up like 20 grams of dates, that's what I done this morning, and put it in, that should hopefully take it away. But you know, just not to make the same mistakes as me. But um, yeah, the sushi didn't work out well at all, um, unfortunately. But uh, I don't even know how you cut them, to be honest. I don't know if you use a serrated knife or a flat knife. But that's gonna be it for this video. Um, been a long day. Yeah, didn't get the war off me, yo, but I ended up getting it. And this granola. I just know I just found a way not to do it really. Rather than um I just messed it up completely. But yeah. That's gonna be it for this video everyone. Thank you once again for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you and I will see you in the next one. Much love. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.